Chuck Fresh from Zango Water, and we have some interesting results we got from a laboratory with zero water. And as you can see, I've taken it all apart, but there's a reason for it. Uh, first of all, let's tell you about the test results. We sent it out to car laboratories, and we did a $50 test on it, and we got the results back for my son's science project. So we found out that as advertised, it does remove just about every single total dissolved solid from the water. So it's doing exactly what it says it does, which is terrific, including fluoride. There's very, very almost undetectable traces of fluoride in this water from the zero water filter. So that's great. It's doing exactly what it is. It's very clean. It tastes very good, and it should be very healthy. We did run into one issue, though, and this is actually admitted on their website. We did find an indication of coliform bacteria in our zero water sample. And none of the other samples, uh, actually one of the other samples did have uh, uh, some evidence of it. They don't tell us how much is in there, but there is something in there. And the fact that there is coliform bacteria in the zero water filter means two things. Number one, you probably shouldn't drink it without further testing to find out where it's coming from. Is it coming from the filter? Probably not. Is it coming from our original source? Uh, was something else tainted along the way? You don't know without retesting, which is exactly what we're going to do. But these filters, even on their website, tell us that they do not filter out bacteria, including coliform bacteria, which a subset of that is E. coli. Now, the test for E. coli did come back clean. There was no E. coli. And just because it has coliform bacteria doesn't mean it's going to be dangerous or you're, it's going to make you sick. But it is a warning signal that other bad bacteria within that coliform family may be in the, uh, the water sample itself, or the water itself. So we put our zero water on hold. I've taken it outside. I, um, I'm probably going to change this filter uh, and start from uh, with a clean filter because uh, I don't think you can ever really get it out. I don't know how long it lasts. I've let it sit in the sun for several hours. Uh, hopefully the ultraviolet rays have broken down a lot, but you can't really get inside this thing without taking it apart. So I'm going to start with a new filter. Our tap water came back with zero uh, coliform reading, zero E. coli, zero coliform altogether. So uh, we're going to use tap water in this again, pour it through the zero water filter, and immediately send a sample back out the car laboratories to see if we still have an E. coli pro problem uh, with this thing. So um, we did get the water from our, and I'll do a separate video on this, on our Berkey filter. Our Berkey filter also tested positive for coliform bacteria. And it's possible that the water that we poured in the zero water filter came from the Berkey. We're trying to be smart and uh, make sure everything's out of this thing and getting as clean as possible. But on the other hand, that could, we do have a fluoride filter in the Berkey filter. So the Berkey filter may have been responsible for uh, filtering out all the uh, fluoride before it got to zero water. So we know for a fact that there is no coliform bacteria in our tap water. And we know that there is a good amount of fluoride, not in an inordinate amounts. It's well, well under the, uh, the recommended allowance for uh, fluoride. So we're going to pour that tap water directly into our zero water filter, resend it out for another test, and we'll update you right here on this channel. So please subscribe, like, and stay tuned. Chuck Fresh for ZangaWater.com.